Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers in a cattle population with average lactation yield of 1900, a particular bull's daughter have an average of 2000 kg. The breeding value of the bull will be and you have to choose the correct answer. In order to answer this question I have prepared couple citations for you and here is the first one. So what is the breeding value? The breeding value is a deviation of the progeny generated by given progenitor from the average of the reference population. Breeding value depends on the average performance of the reference population as well as on the value of the alleles that each progenitor can transfer to its progeny. So after reading the citation, many of you would choose answer C because the difference would be 100 kilograms. So if progenitor's daughter uh, produce 2000 kilograms of the uh, milk, then uh, it is 100 more than average of this herd. But let me share the second citation that is going to add more details. So take a look. The breeding value. Breeding value refers to the value of an animal in a breeding program for a particular trait. An animal's breeding value is estimated to be twice the expected performance of its progeny. The reason for doubling the expected progeny performance is that only half of the genes from the individual are transmitted to any offspring with the remaining half coming from the other parent. The expected progeny performance is called transmitting ability and is therefore half of the breeding value. In other words, transmitting ability is the genetic advantage an individual transmits to its offspring. I know that this conceptual ideas is not very easy to understand, so I prepared a couple pictures for you. Here is the first picture that represents a human karyotype, but let's pretend that this is Bal's karyotype and in diploid organism each chromosome goes in pair. So one inherited from the mother side, another from the father side. And each pair represents homologous chromosomes. And now let's take a look at this picture and what you see here. You see that only half of the chromosomes that we see on the left picture are present here. So this picture represents sperm of this ball. And now you understand that the ball cannot transmit its superiority uh, in full to full extent to its progeny. Only half of its genetic superiority and the other half of the genetic makeup, the progeny is going to get from the other parent. Now please pay attention to this phrase. The expected progeny performance is called transmitting ability and is therefore half of the breeding value. So this difference, 1900 kg and 2000 kg, so 100 kg difference is going to be transmitting ability, would represent transmitting ability of this ball. But in order to give breeding value of this ball, we have to multiply by 2. And the correct answer is going to be answer A. Breeding value of the ball is going to be plus 200 kilograms. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.